Welcome back to Mob Genius TV. We're here with uh, one of our good buddies, the channel Slim. Y'all have seen him in a couple of the previous episodes that we've had here. This is someone who I, I legitimately consider a good friend in the, in the Houston car community. When I had surgery, literally the guy DMs me and asked me that I want to have a parade of Mopars come outside my, my hospital room and show out. You know, that's the kind of love that he gives back to the car community. And uh, recently he's gotten famous and uh, we'll roll some of that footage right now. Anyway, so we're gonna go come back here and talk about, you know, talk to Slim and kind of get his story about everything that happened. So without further ado, everybody meet Slim up close and personal. <laughs> What's up, man? It's your boy Power by SRT Houston, you know what I'm saying? Slim. Big lane hog shit, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of Houston, Texas, man. Shout out to my boy Mob Genius TV, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? That's watching, you know what I'm saying? I want to send a special shout out to my boy Drinks Pour, you know what I'm saying? We out here, man. What's up? When was the first time you ever burned out in a car? Uh, the first time I ever burnt out in a car was 2007. It was a 1989 Chevy Caprice, the first time I ever did a burnout. Where were you when that happened? How old were you? Uh, I was in Baytown, Texas. I don't remember the exact age, but I was in Baytown. Um, <clears throat> tell us a little bit, just kind of from your own point of view, what happened uh, last week, a little less than a week ago, with the incident with the uh, video shoot. Uh, well, you know, uh, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I'm part of a exclusive Mopar car club in Houston, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Called the Lane Hogs, you know what I'm saying? Big Lane Hogs shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we was uh, invited, you know what I'm saying, to come to a video shoot for a rapper in Houston called Rizzo Rizzo, a TSF rapper, one of known as one of Sauce Walker's protégés, or should I say, you know what I'm saying, label mates, or whatever you want to call it. But um, we got invited to the video shoot, when we get there, you know what I'm saying, it's different car clubs, different groups there, you know what I'm saying, so you know. Lane Hogs, we do what we do. We're going to come through. We're going to put on, you know what I'm saying? It's me, my brother, SRT Pinky 707 TM, C Smoke, Hellcat D, my boy Huncho Jack, my boy Javi, you know what I'm saying? I got all the hogs out there with me. We all out there thugging, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? It got to the point, you know what I'm saying, where we had to, you know, 
do little scenes and stuff, you know what I'm saying, for the uh, for the video shoot. So uh, we was doing the scenes or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know, I just get lit, you know what I'm saying, when I see certain individuals go out there and they do what they do and they turn up, you know what I'm saying, I get lit. It makes me feel good, you know what I'm saying, I feel like, you know, it's a, a positive environment and a safe environment for us to do the things that we actually want to do, you know, we're not out shooting at each other, we're not out game banging, stealing, robbing, we're not out doing anything necessarily wrong, we're just enjoying ourselves, you know what I'm saying, these are people who work, they want to spend their hard earned money on their car, we want to show our cars off, we want to have a good time, so we were in the process of having a good time and uh, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, HPD pulled up to the scene, HPD pulled up, I think, two, three cars deep at the time and uh, which they always pretty do, you know what I'm saying? They pretty much harass us, pretty much, you know, so. At the time when they pulled up, you know, it was a chaotic scene. There were like, you know, dirt bikes and mopigs everywhere doing little stunts and stuff. And there was, you know, Mopars going and other cars going and stuff. So, you know, it, it was a live scene, you know, and I, uh, I felt like I probably was targeted because of my car, you know what I'm saying? My car stands out. If anybody in Houston knows my car, if you, Anywhere in the world, you know my car, you know what I'm saying? My car stands out, it speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? That's part of being a lane hog, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stand out, be individual, you know what I'm saying? Anybody know about a hog? A pack of hogs are a deadly mother but one of them could kill you, you know what I'm saying? It needs to be one. But, uh, you know, uh, I was targeted and I felt like, you know, because of my car and the things that I do, uh, HPD targeted me and uh, they went after my, my vehicle and uh, at the time, I was just, you know, doing my stunts or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that I usually do. And uh, I realized that the vehicle was behind me. And at the time, you know, that was, I'm not going to say there was no way I could stop. But um, my car was in a sliding motion, so I continued to keep driving. <laughs> and as I drive, you know, I'm sliding and there's vehicles around me. So I don't want to hit this vehicle, so I slide out of the way of this vehicle. Then the cops coming this way, so there's another vehicle right there. I'm sliding out of the way not to hit these vehicles. I don't want to hit nobody's car. I know all these individuals, they pay good money for their cars. I don't want to tear anybody's car up. So as I'm sliding, the police are continuing to come, you know. So you know, I had to give it a little gas, you know, just trying to get out the way, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to run. I'm just trying to get out the way. But the more gas I give it, the more I slide, the more the cops come. So, you know, I just I keep sliding, just keep giving it a little gas, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, not too much, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess it basically turned into a police chase, you know what I'm saying, so. So about how far down the road did you slide? <sighs> for legal purposes, I'm gonna say I don't know. Okay, a little bit, a little uh, way. I'm gonna just say I don't know But you pulled over, purposes. right? You pulled over for I pulled over, oh yeah, let's, let's get this, let's get this, okay. All right, let's get this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the story straight. When I was coming out of Greenspoint Mall, when I was leaving out of the mall, the drone didn't catch this. Well, the drone caught it, but he edited it. As I was leaving out of the mall, I slid. My car was still in track, uh, in sports mode. If you know anything about Mopar, you know what sports mode is. You know what I'm saying? I was driving in sports mode the whole time, so my car was basically sliding. I slid around a curve that I didn't know was there, and I hit the, the sidewalk or the curve or whatever, and it bust my tire and broke my control arm. So the whole time when I was still driving in the mall out into the street, my tire was busted and my control arm was broken. So the whole time I was driving down the street, when y'all see me fly past, I had my foot to That's the amazing. gas. And you know, I was just trying to guide it as much as I can without hurting anybody or hurting myself. And I, I did the best I could. And as soon as I got away from all the people in the crowd of people, you know what I'm saying, I pulled over calmly, I got out the car, you know what I'm saying, I laid myself on the ground, I wasn't pulled out the car, snatched out the car by any police, I got out the car, I laid myself on the ground, police came, they handcuffed me, I'm going to be honest with y'all, the police were not being over aggressive, they were not being assholes in any shape, form, or fashion, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be honest with y'all, you know what I'm saying, the whole time it was a good rapport, they were laughing, they were friendly, even though they and took me to jail and I got charged for a felony. The whole thing was was good, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was never any negative connotation the whole time with the police, you know what I'm saying? Man. Um, <clears throat> what did you think about when uh, when you saw the footage after you got out of jail? The drone footage, oh, the, the, I mean, this was, this was probably one of the most well-broadcast uh, 
I don't want to call yeah. it a police chase, but a police slide off that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I was in jail, I was calling home and I was talking to you know my brother uh, SRT uh, Pinky Seven O Seven. Yeah, I might know him as Tim. Uh, I was talking to him and he was like, "Bro, you everywhere, bro. You famous, bro. Like you went big." And I'm like, "Yeah, all right, bro. But like, what's going on? It's like we gonna get me out. Like, what's the yeah. what's the price?" So he like, "No, bro. You not <laughs> listening, bro. Like you big. I'm like, all right, bro. Like whatever. You know what I'm saying I didn't realize like the magnitude of like how many people had seen it and like how far it had reached. So when I got out of jail, uh, my brother, you know what I'm saying, SRT Pinky, he pulled up, SRT Hot pulled up, 1-6 Cat pulled up, uh, my boy Coolish, not Cool Exotics, he pulled up, I mean, so Cool Exotics, he pulled up. Uh, and when I, as soon as they pulled up, I was sitting outside and they jumped out with an iPad and they showed me the drone footage. That was the first thing they did. They jumped out and they showed me the drone footage. And I was like, what the f you know what I'm saying? Like, who got this? And they like, bro, the whole time you was, the whole time it was going on, the drone was basically catching the footage. I didn't know that. I didn't know that many people had even caught the footage. I didn't know it had went viral. I didn't know none of this stuff was going on. So when I get out, I'm just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's go do normal stuff. And it wasn't normal. I had to adjust to what was going on and all the people hitting me up and just all the support. I ain't gonna lie, the biggest thing for me though was the support. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, if anybody know anything about the Houston car community, you know what I'm saying, especially the Mopar part of it, it's pretty toxic, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot of bullshit to go on, you know what I'm saying? But the support after, you know what I'm saying, I went to jail and with the stuff that was going on, the support was Amazing from every car club, you know what I'm saying? From every individual, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to hit any of my family members up to get bonded out, you know what I'm saying? My family members put money together to bond me out, and my car club and other individuals and other car clubs in Houston and other individuals that's in the car community put money together and they bonded me out. I didn't have to spend any of my money. So I just want to send a special shout out to Houston. In the car community, I want everybody to know that no matter what people think about us, no matter what they say about us, that we're united and we're going to stay united and continue to be united. And we can't let people from outside and people from out of town come down here and take what we got. And we can't let them put a wrench in what we got because, you know, like we got a big scene down here and somebody from out of town with a, with a lot more clout or a lot more... You know, a lot more understanding about how YouTube works or want to come down here and basically make money off our scene. Basically, that's the easiest, most simple I can put it. You know what I'm saying? Make money off what we got going on and get noticed off what we got going on. So I want that to be avoided. That's my biggest thing. I would like for all of us to have this going and get this going. What do you see as the future of the Houston car community? Me and SRT Pinky 707 and Big Lane Hog shit. Lane I don't see none of you other mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see. Nice. I just wanted to know personally from me, I just want to know what this guy's favorite car movie was. Because when I was growing up, that's the only way I knew how the car scene was. So I'm going to ask him, what was his favorite car movie? My favorite car movie would probably have to be i just say go on to 60 seconds, that's what I'd say. Yeah, go on to 60 seconds Ooh, Go on to 60 seconds, that's yeah. what i say. I, I I like classic shit, so yeah. Yeah. go on to 60 seconds. I like it. So apparently everybody's attitude in the car community is, my car's faster, my car's better, my yeah. club is better. But in reality, like you said, the whole community came in for you, right? Yes, sir. So when you talk about Lane Hogs, shit. That just means that you're faster, you're better, <laughs> you're prettier. And if you don't rep that way, then why the hell are you doing this? Exactly. Big why lane hog shit. Big lane hog shit. It's just a way of life. <laughs> I mean. Of the car community. You know yeah, I know. My whole thing is I'm going to represent, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. regardless of what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to represent the best way possible. If we going out there and the thing is to put on the show or for us to be noticed or even the uh, interact with people and us say we're going to do it better than anybody else. That's all I got to say, pretty much. Is there anything you need from the Houston car community? Because I know that, you know, it, it's, it's hard to ask some, for it sometimes, but I know 
some people have hit you up with some cash app and just hit you up with just some love. But, you know, what, what else can the Houston car community do for you, do for the Lane Hogs, just to show support for you guys in this situation? Um, the best thing that I say the Houston car community can do for me is uh, just honestly, you know what I'm saying, I want y'all to be careful, you know what I'm saying? That's the best thing y'all can do for me, just be careful. Y'all see what's going on. Uh, I know that the video looks good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might think the cloud and all that shit is all good and fun, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all gotta remember I have a legal case now that I have to deal with, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when y'all doing this shit, because I know y'all going out to do more shit and go turn up even harder than what I did, you know what I'm saying? Just be careful, be mindful, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, get away, fuck 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to end. <laughs> it's 707, man, y'all know. 707, uh, you gonna spring back. I like the SRT, 392s, all that shit, but I can't go backwards. I can only yeah. go forward, so. Speaking of not going backwards. Hey, ah, man. Look at this man. Right here, man. Hey, now, man. He's had the quietest comeback in the history of comebacks, man, just because he's so damn humble. Yeah. But seriously, man, I mean, you had kind of a similar incident happen to you as well. I mean, you didn't go running from the police or nothing, but you know, you had somebody step in front of your car, get hit while you were while you were spinning and doing whatever, man, and then they come and take your vehicle, and you bounce back from a Daytona with a Hellcat. Yeah. And that bitch pink too. Here you go, me. Yeah, that's right. We here at Rinspec, man. But yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, it's just all about grinding and not letting the bad shit affect you. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta, you gotta level up. You gotta use what they, what they gonna give you, what the laws gonna give you to your, to your advantage. You know, you can sit up there and deal with it and cry about it and not elevate your game, or you could just elevate your game and, you know what I'm saying, take it to wherever you want to take it. But it is what it is. I hopefully I get my shit back. If I don't, you know, but just be careful out here. And we're not no black saw nation. All you motherfuckers be out there saying shit, just talking, you know. That's not who we are. I'm me. Yeah, I figured y'all weren't, man. I mean, it just seems like, you know, y'all, you know, I mean, it, 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 it maybe begs the question, you know, what is the difference between a takeover and just kind of showing out at shows? I mean, there's a big difference because some of the laws, they do it in their cars. They don't just drive their cruises all the time. So, I mean, it's COVID-19, man. I'm not going to sit in the house and just do nothing. So, I mean, it's not a takeover. You just want to go ride your, ride your car. We're men. You know what I'm saying? We're men, so we we in a car that has a lot of power. You know, so we might go do a donut or a burnout or something. That shit, that shit gets a man going. Like, damn, man, if you just don't know. You know, just like how females go buy shoes and shit, heels, get their nails done. They feel good. Well, I feel good going to go slide this bitch. So, you know, it is what it is. But we're not in no takeover, man. Anything else you want the world to know? Man, I am SRT Pinky 707. Probably, I say probably one of the top best drivers in Houston. Go that's, check. That's as humble. That's literally go, as humble as it gets. Go, yeah. go, go check me out, man. Look at my footage. I got footage on Instagram, IG, whatever. I'm in a Hellcat now. I ain't in no Daytona. So if you think you can slide, let's slide. All that's right. what we gonna do. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing the you? hogs with me too. Same question I, I asked Slim in there. When was the first time you slid? Damn. First time I slid. Me or in yeah, the car, period? You or in the car, or either Shit, one. Shit, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. I haven't always been driving like this, just be honest. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I jumped, I ain't even been a lane hog a year. I ain't even been in the car community a whole year. I jumped down in the car community in November 2019. All right. That's why you old motherfuckers mad. Yeah. Really That's why some of y'all mad. Y'all ain't got no name. Y'all been in the game 10 years. But shit, it's just fun, man. I just, I mean, I did it. I did my first time doing it, bro, was like probably like at the end of last year, December or November. It was really like, really when I, when I took my traction control off, man, if y'all don't know TM, I'm gonna tell y'all the real shit. Most motherfuckers. I'm not gonna tell you. When I turned my traction control off, we was going to Chucky Trill video. Shit. Out there in uh in the north side. In Fifth Ward. 
Man, I turned, I cut that motherfucker off, man. It slid right into the goddamn curve. Oh. <laughs> hey, fuck my rim off and everything, man. But that was my first time really just doing some shit. And I was inspired by Tristan. Y'all might know him as Bandman Trist. That was like the best driver I seen at the time. So I was like, damn, bro, I want to drive like that. That's who inspired me. And from that, from now on, I've been going to empty parking lots, practicing. Now I'm, now I'm, I'm up there now. So. Yeah, I was about to ask you if you practice. I remember one time at Bombshells, I, I saw practice. you do a, I oh, saw yeah. you do a donut <laughs> in a space that literally maybe had three, that was maybe three feet, hey. three feet longer than your. Than hey, your that vehicle. was practice too. Shit. I just went up there and did some shit. I was just hoping that I ain't hit nothing. <laughs> so shit, yeah, real shit. Well, I just it turned did out, some man. Shit. It turned out, man. It's probably the tightest circle I've ever seen. In a, and in another a, thing in a, too, in a boat. man. And another thing too, man. Like, bro, when I first started going to the car, 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 uh, car meets, motherfuckers wasn't doing that. Okay, it might do a burnout, but when I start doing my thing, like, we made motherfuckers want to go to car meets. We made motherfuckers want to come look for TM. Look for goddamn uh, uh, power and shit like man. We changed that. We brought that. We made y'all want to come out and get content, bro. Like that's what Lane House did. We transcended that shit, man. Like now, that's what motherfuckers want to see now when they go to a car meet. Like that shit is boring as, fuck, bro. If you gonna do that, you wanna go look at cars. Go to Coffee and Cars. That's right. They can they can watch it on they can watch it on YouTube just like everybody else. Huh? Yeah, nah, they ain't gonna. They gotta get. You wanna you wanna see Lane House do some shit? Tap in with 1C Scat, tap in with Hemi JC, tap in with Mob Genius. Know what I'm saying? Uh, my shit coming soon, his shit coming soon. Yeah. You know? What's yours? Shoot, you already know, man. It's drinks poured. Y'all already know. Come on and tap in, get <laughs> poured up. You feel me? Tap in or tap out, right? Tap in or tap out, man. When the house out, the loud's out. That's right. Hey, what we do? What's up? What's up? again for tuning into this episode of mob genius tv make sure you please go subscribe to our friends powered by srt houston srt pinky underscore 707 all the lane hog guys make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video hit the post notification bell and thank you again for all your support and get ready for more content like this